Friday night's 28-13 win over Carrollton was a victory Panthers fans have waited two decades for, their first outright region championship. And Ridgeland head coach Mark Mariakis will tell you it was well worth the wait. I think to date the, the biggest win in, in Ridgeland history um, just because it was the first time we've had an outright region championship at our school. Um, you know, it, it, it made us a number one seed in the, in the state playoff bracket and, um, you know, it was just deserving that these kids have worked so hard for and um, a goal they've set, you know, long ago. Uh, a lot of these seniors have been here for four years and have gone through a lot, won a bunch of games, but, you know, had that monkey on their back that they just haven't got over the hump of beating a, a good football team in a big-time uh, atmosphere. So now the doubters of the black and silver are back on the bandwagon. But this Panthers team didn't stand out as a dominant force early on. Ridgeland actually began this season losers of two of their first three games. So what's been the difference between this team and the one back in September? We have the everybody, everybody staying out of trouble, got injuries, everybody recovering, and once everybody get back, we too dominant. We just came out and played hard. Defense stepped it up in the second half, our offense can't be stopped. It was a pretty good team. They was fast, super fast. It was hard to stop them at first. Like they had a couple of good plays in the first beginning. They kept running that jet. It was hard to stop. You know what I'm saying? And we knew we just couldn't bag down to them no matter how good they were. Score could have been 40 to nothing. We still was gonna come with it, bring it every play. We had to do what we had to do to get the win. We had to come together as a team, stay focused. Coach, he came out with some plays that I never seen before. Well, I seen them at practice, but it was plays that we had worked on a long time ago. We just pulled them out and we made them work. And they'll need to work Friday when they welcome in a Carver team who's won five straight games. But so far, everything seems to be working out well for Richland. It's good for it because we get a we the first seed going into the playoffs. So, I mean, we should we should go farther into the playoffs this year. Having already accomplished things that no other Richland team has ever done, this Panthers team has become more than just teammates. Hey, this is my family right here. Outside my family at home, this is my family. Coaches, principals. These guys I'm playing with, man, I'd, I'd do anything for them. If they ever need anything, you know, I'd rather them call me, you know, because they're, they're, they're a good group of guys. So the question is, can this group of guys go further than any other Richland team has ever gone? I think they can go as far as they want to go. Uh, they. They don't surprise me, um, but um, you know they're they're focused right now, and they've uh, you know we don't have that sigh of relief that we're just in the playoffs. I think there's an urgency to do something when we're here, and uh, you know it's a fun ride right now. Richland will look to continue their season Friday night when they host Carver at 7:30. With the Richland Panthers, I'm Jeremy Babin, Newswatch 10 Sports.